Morigami by Dory Kleber, illustrated by G. Brian Karras. Joey loves things that folded. He collected old road maps. He played the accordion. He slept in a fold away bed. One day, Sarah, Takimoto's mother, came to school. She took a plain piece of paper, she folded it, and flipped it, and pulled it, until it became... a crane. Joey's eyes popped, his jaw dropped. Miss Takimoto called it origami. I want to make origami, Joey told her. Will you teach me? I can show you the fold, she said, but if you want to be an origami master, you'll need practice and patience. Joey started that afternoon. He practiced on his notebook paper and on the construction paper from the art shelf. But even his simple shapes were crooked and crumpled, so he practiced on his own homework. And on the newspaper and on his sister's sheet music. Uh-oh. And he practiced on all the gift wrap and on the recipe for Aunt Vivian's pineapple surprise. And on the $38 in Mom's purse. This folding has to stop, said Mom. Joey drooped. How would he ever become an origami master without practice? He went next door to Muy Mexicana. Fajitas always made him feel better. Joey, Mr. Lopez sang. Hey, what's wrong? It takes practice and patience to be an origami master, Joey said. But whenever I practice, everybody else loses their patience. Many artists are misunderstood, amigo, said Mr. Lopez, especially when they are just learning. What's that? Mr. Lopez asked, pointing to Joey's napkin. A pyramid, said Joey. Sorry. No, don't apologize, Mr. Lopez said. I like it. It makes the table look fancy. Can you make more? Joey grinned. I could make a hundred. So Joey folded and folded and folded until pyramids perched on every table in the restaurant. Each day after school, Joey went back to Muy Mexicana. He folded napkins into fans. He made candlesticks. Then he tried crowns. Some napkins toppled, others flopped, but Joey kept folding until they were perfect. Practice makes perfect. Finally, he was ready to try the most difficult fold of all. He took a crisp napkin. He folded, he flipped, he pulled. It worked! A crane! At last, he was an origami master. Just then, a girl walked in. She was waving a paper fan. Her eyes popped, her jaw dropped. Did you make that? She asked. Joey nodded. Mm-hmm. 
I can show you how, said Joey, but I should warn you, it takes practice and lots of patience. Fold your own origami ladybug. Are you ready to make origami? Try this ladybug. Keep practicing until it's just right. Number one, start with a square piece of paper, fold it in half to make a triangle. Number two, fold the triangle in half, press down hard to make a crease, then open it back up. Number three, now fold the top corners down so they reach a little past the bottom edge of the paper. Leave some space around the center crease. Number four, flip the paper over, fold the top corner down to the center of your paper, like this. Number five, then fold the point of that same corner back up so it hangs over the top of the paper. Number six, flip the paper over again, add some spots to the wings to make it look like a real ladybug. You did it. All done. The end.